Today we're back looking at Karen's being Karen's. And who are you? Oh, yes. Is that your property or what? Yes, it is, sir. Where, where's your property? Right here. Right here. This is this is public. No, this that, is that, not. This is public. Good. Right there is public. I looked on my they pay survey, taxes, ma'am. They, they, they pay taxes. They pay taxes or so. Yes, leave them right alone. Get in the sheriff. Uh, you can call I the sheriff if you want. No, but if this is this is. Then get out. No, no. Get. Listen, listen. Right here, right here, right no, here is. Ooh. Shut up. What's your name, ma'am? Pamela Walter. Nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So you don't like Mexican people, huh? I don't like people that take advantage they, of other people. They right here, dude. She can get out there. She can get out the street. Oh my God! I she can't can go believe over this. There. She can go over ma'am. Where's your house? What is going on with Pamela? She seems like she's in a horrible mood. I think what happened in that video is basically they're not allowed to be in the car park, but they're not on the car park. They are on the grass, which is part of the sidewalk, so that's not her property. I'm so sick of these people. I love and support all the food vendors. Exactly, like, is it really worth getting that angry over something like that? She's not on your property. Like, you can call the police all you want. Like, you're the one who's gonna get in trouble. And yet again, is it really worth getting that angry over a food vendor? I wonder what she was selling hot dogs or, like, slushies. Is it really worth starting to fight with somebody like that? I'm confused. It's such a minor inconvenience for her. It's just petty. It kind of reminds me of that other Karen who called the police and like a seven year old girl. There was a girl who had a lemonade stand and a Karen called the police and her. She was like seven. I don't understand it. It's like these people take the smallest things in the world and make them the biggest issues in the world. Out of every single issue that's going on in this world, including wars, conflict, actual issues, you're starting to fight with a food vendor. And yet again, the food vendor wasn't even in the wrong. Okay, so in this next video, a fake soldier gets caught by the police. In America, there are some people who pretend to be soldiers to get money off products. We actually seen a fake soldier a few videos ago, basically, who's pretending to be like a soldier on Black Friday to get money off products. Well, this fake soldier tried to scam McDonald's and got caught in the act. Okay, so there's a soldier, and this is um, police cameras. Yes. Yeah. I wonder what they're having. He's brazen, there's things on the wrong sleeve, and the boots are... Well, boots are neither here nor there, but the uniform's unironed, it's in atrocious condition. He's got his shoulder flash on the wrong side, he's got the incorrect beret on, it's ill fitting. Any of the members of the Commando Regiment wear a really dark green beret, uh, same as the Royal Australian Regiments, um, <clears throat> and the beret is like molting. Like they found the disposal store or something. So they're basically you know, figuring out if it's real or not, they which it is. Is they, buy, they wear the beret as small as they can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, mate, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. There he My is. name is uh, Senior Constable Murdoch. I'm from the Rapid Action Patrol Group based here on the Gold Coast. Yeah, mate. Mate, I am also a sergeant in the Royal Australian Army, okay? Yeah. Yep. I uh, hold the rank of sergeant at 511. Field battery. Yep. Do you have your military ID on? I don't actually at the moment. You I, don't? No, because I um, all I've got is my veterans, like just veteran affairs. Because I've actually I'm, I'm discharging. Yeah. Yeah. And how long have you been in the service for? I was a clearance diver in the navy to begin with. Yeah. And then I did uh, selection for the commando regiment. Yeah. And then yeah, but I've, but as I said, I'm, I'm getting out of it. Yeah. And how long were you in the army for? Like I was a clearance driver in the Navy for seven years and then with the Army for just on near 12 months, 13 months. Yeah, and I've just come out of Kapuka and I've come up here and, yeah. Well, I'd say, have you done your selection for Commander? Yeah, Regiment? I've done selection, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I did all that, yeah. Whereabouts did you do that? Uh, that was done at Holdsworthy. Yep. Yeah, you do nine week selection course mm -hmm. and then from there you you start like Rio cycle. Right, yeah. Yeah, I've done selection, yeah. Brent, the reason I've uh, is this this is you, Brent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The reason I've asked you the question, yep. okay, is I've been in the army for 25 years. Yep. The first thing I know is is that the Australia flash that's on your shoulder yep. is actually on the incorrect shoulder. Okay, it should be on that side of the uniform. Okay, it's the same through the navy and also the air force. Okay. Secondly, the beret that you're wearing, okay, is non-standard issue. Okay, yep. the Royal Australian Regiments as well as the Commando Regiments were a dark green beret. Okay, I notice you have the yeah, Commando Yeah, it's this flash. one here, mate. Look, it's, 
I know the beret. What about yeah. mates who, who are serving for it? So yeah. it's that one here. So why don't you, seeing as that you're in uniform, and you're aware also that general standing orders at the moment is that military personnel, unless on official duty, are not supposed to be wearing the uniform because of the heightened terrorist threat. Well, I didn't, honestly, I did not know that. Because I've been, as I said, I've been home for a few weeks. I did not know, and I'm, as I said, I'm getting yeah. out of the army, yeah. and I'm off to see the Department of Veteran Affairs now, so I didn't know. Okay. Do you have any other identification on you, driver's yeah, licence or something similar? What's this about? Like, what have I done? What's it about? You're pretending oh, to be a soldier? That you're impersonating a soldier? No, I'm not. Okay. Like, yes, you like, are. Like, I can't believe this. I'm not impersonating a soldier at all. Like, I can show you um, pictures of, of all, like, enlistments of me in the, in the military. Right, yeah. Like, I'm not impersonating a soldier at all. Like, this is all my enlistment in, into the army. Yeah. So who are these people? Well, who is this fellow here? Who, which, which fellow? The, this fellow here. That's with this fellow. That's, yeah. that's a man. It's a man, is it? Yeah. Apologise to her when I see her. So it is. So when did you enlist in the well, army? In the army, I'd, yeah. Uh, that was back in June last year. June last year. Yeah. Right. So, as a soldier, if you'd just come through Kapuka, you'd know that your uniform, okay, the flag or the, the uh, colour patch here, the Australian national flag, is worn on the left hand sleeve. Oh, mate, what? Well, to tell you the truth, I just grabbed it out of the cupboard. I didn't even look. Okay. You got well, any honestly, other... Honestly, I didn't... I haven't done anything wrong. Jeez. I mean, you have. Okay, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to ask you to sit down over there for a moment. Enjoy your coffee while I make some inquiries. Okay, I'll need your service number. Have a seat over here, thanks. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I don't know if he got arrested. I really hope he did. But by the looks of it, he was faking it. So what is he doing that to get free food? I think he's basically pretending to be a soldier so he can get money off. I knew it was a big thing in America. I didn't realize it happened in Australia. It probably happens in the UK as well. But there's people out there who pretend to be part of the army so means they can get money off stuff. We watched a guy a few videos ago basically pretend to be a soldier on Black Friday to get money off. And out of all places, that guy chose McDonald's. Stealing failure in any country is shameful even if you don't support any war. These people sacrifice for us. How dare they? Exactly. Like, I don't think he realizes what he's actually done that is a kick in the teeth to many people out there miss karen ordered eight five dollar pizzas that was 30 minutes late she's about to call corporate or eat the staff it was eight pizzas i'm wondering why it was more than 30 minutes late because we had several big orders i had a line i ordered at one o'clock this afternoon i understand that man but it goes with my way it pops up i can't skip i'm calling corporate you can do it i'm calling corporate because i don't want to bring money back i want I just want a pizza, that's all I want. So let me get this straight. She ordered eight big pizzas and because it took more than half an hour, she was angry. I don't know what type of pizza shop that is. Maybe they make it from scratch. Maybe they do. However, if you're making eight big pizzas, that's going to take a long time. And yet again, she can call corporate all she wants. It'll do nothing. She's been very unreasonable and not listened to the manager's explanation. I kind of feel bad for the manager because I feel like if anyone's going to get charged of that, it's going to be them. They're going to get the blame for something they had no control over. Yet again, what is the need to act like that? What is the need to be racist? God bless his people, that's the only way you can treat a Karen exactly boo them, shame them. I love watching videos of Karen's getting booed because it's like they don't expect the reaction. They think everyone's gonna be on their side and then they get proper booed. Oh. I can understand your stress, but you don't even react like that. Nine, eight, six, four, Levon, Al, Mando. Levon, I can't understand what you're screaming. Uh, 
Ah. Look, I can understand waiting in line and being stressed and having to wait. However, you don't react like that. That's how you're not going to get your medication. This is why I left my pharmacy technician job and I don't miss it one bit. You probably get paid absolutely nothing when you have to deal with people like that. And yet again, the fact that she reacted like that, like she's elderly, she's literally going to give herself a heart attack. I would be cracking up in the back. I can't handle the dramatic. I would be freaking out because I'd be proper terrified. No offense, but if someone was acting like that, I'd be thinking, oh God, do we need to give them more medication? The, uh, uh, it's sending me. Exactly, but it's not as if she was literally harming herself. She's going to have to add painkillers to her prescription. Okay, I won't lie, I love her shoes. Oh, she wants a manager. I mean, I think the employees will be pretty happy if that's the last time you ever shop there. At least they'll never have to see you again. Worked at a grocery store for eight years before the phrase I'm never gonna shop here again only makes everyone else delighted, lol. Of course I'd be delighted, only people who act like that say stuff like that. We watched a video of a guy in a cinema basically having a meltdown because he purposely sat in the wrong seat. He started starting about how he's never gonna come back and boycott it. I can guarantee you the workers will be happy with that. Me and Empath sensing she needs a manager. I wonder what her issue was. Like, apparently it was about like a card. Was it like a gift card? I bet she probably spent all the money in the gift card. Until she's back tomorrow, exactly she's literally gonna be there next week i'm pretty sure that's like walmart which is like the americans version of tesco's so she's most likely gonna be there tomorrow or like she'll go to like a different one in the local area there's no way she's actually gonna boycott it i just pulled into mcdonald's and this lady is holding this spot in front of this van for her husband to cut us all in the drive through so she can get her mcdonald's first okay there is a line for a Reason. I don't think she also realizes that like to actually go for the drive for you have to be in a car You have to be in a motorcycle or in like an actual vehicle if you're stood there They're just gonna ignore you. Why doesn't she just go inside? Wouldn't that be quicker? If there's a big long queue You're gonna be sat there waiting for like 20 minutes. If you literally walked in ordered you'd be walking out quicker Please tell me someone Mick ran her over. Honestly, I hope someone Mick flattened her But I can guarantee you she probably never even got her order in the end Someone did that where I worked and we just went outside and took orders from the cars behind them Exactly. It's like the drive for is for people in vehicles. You're only gonna get your order taken if you're in a vehicle You can stand there all you want but if you're not in a vehicle they will not take your order so that karen probably thought she beat the system when in reality she just made herself look like an idiot well anyways guys that's really fun to do there that's some karen's being typical karen it would seem we'll watch more karen videos than me definitely will press the subscribe and see you all tomorrow for another video